Hey guys. This video is going to be very helpful for you. I'm not going to take much of your time. Pay attention. I'm going to give you the best tips to make sure you don't have bumps ever again and you have very clear armpit. The first step and the first mistake people make that give you bumps is shaving dry skin. Don't shave dry skin. Make sure you are in the shower, okay? Make sure you kind of wet the area you want to shave. Wet hair and wet skin, they are a lot easy to shave because water makes everything easy. Whether you are cleaning your house or you are doing anything, water makes everything easy. So this hair, they absorb water absorb moisture become really soft and manageable for your razor so there's less friction and your skin is really ready and prepped for shaving have to use a scrub a body scrub to scrub the area to exfoliate your armpits and don't go in circular motion go in up and down motion this is going to help um, remove any excess dead skin cells that could trap the hair when they are growing back and cause bumps. Some hair are also hidden, you know, little hairs that you can skip while shaving. Exfoliating will just help those hair that the razor can catch them if this makes any sense. Next thing is do not stop shaving with soap. Stop shaving with soap. A lot of people do this. You just take soap and... They just feel they'll take soap and just apply it and start shaving. I make cosmetic products and I can tell you, use soap contains harsh sulfates, you know, harsh sulfates that don't even condition the hair, they don't prep the skin for shaving. So stop using soap, please. Shaving aid, shaving cream, shaving foam, they are formulated to soften the hair. You should be thinking soft hair, soft hair. Most strategies and tips you use to soften your hair before you commence shaving, the less likely you will have bumps. So one strategy you can see is getting the skin wet before shaving. Another strategy you can throw in is using a shaving aid, shaving cream, or shaving foam, or anything made for shaving. So they prep the skin for shaving, right? And they make the hair very soft, furtherly soft for your razor. Hair conditioners too. Hair conditioners, they're a good one. They are made with, um, they are formulated with um, ingredients that are, that are targeted to attach to the hair and make it very soft. In a budget, you can also use baby oil. They are formulated to have moisturizing, softening properties. Okay. In this video, I'll be using this men's shaving foam, Gillette men's shaving foam. And it comes out like this. We apply it. The shaving razor you are using matters a lot. Um, in the first video, I used this cheap shaving razor because I said I just like using razor once and disposing it off to avoid bumps, which I was right. If this is what you have access to, don't be that person that uses it twice. Don't be that person that uses it three times. Use it once and throw it away as a disposable razor. Please don't spoil your skin. Okay, these are already made of very cheap blades, very, very cheap blades that can cause irritation to the skin. Why real razors like this? They are made of very high quality, usually made of very high quality um, razors, maybe Sweden steel. So what means this means is like cheap razors can irritate your skin, but high quality razors they don't irritate your skin and they last longer. So with cheap razors, right, they get really dull easily, and dull razors will mean you will struggle during shaving and you get irritation, bumps, razor cuts, razor bumps. But when you use very high quality razors like this, they are high quality, like I said, made from maybe Sweden steel, stainless steel. They last way longer. They would remain sharp for a very long time, for months, up to three months. That way you get, it's like you're using a new razor. It's less irritation and you get the job done fast. I don't know, hope I'm making a lot of sense. Another thing with these cheap razors versus buying a good quality female shaving razor you will see that these cheap razors they have just two um, blades two shaving blades why all these high quality razors they have five to four shaving blades so what would take you 
many swipes to achieve with this you can just be going for five to four to five swipes only and you would achieve the same result which means less exposure to razor and getting a better work done many of them also have this lubricating strip i don't know if you can see it it's 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 drawy <laughs> see lubricating strip right that helps they are usually aloe vera and vitamin E. They give cushioning to your skin and extra protection. Aloe vera also helps to prevent bombs with antibacterial and antiseptic properties. So you see, it's I would really advise and it's good to invest in a very, very good result and a regular cheap result if you really want to be serious with shaving and do it right. But if this is what you are still exposed to, Venus has lots, like if you go to the shopping mall, the store, or order online, they are very, very good high quality women's resort. Venus has, many brands has theirs. But if this is what you are still exposed to, like that my first video will do you lots of good. Never use it twice, always dispose it, reduce how many swipes you have to go by knowing your direction of hair growth. Now that the shaving stuff is there, you see, the armpit is and the bikini line are one complicated part of the body hair grows. And the armpit is even more complicated because you could have up to three to four different directions of hair growth. When shaving, you want to always shave in the direction the hair is growing. Do not go against them, if not, they will go against you. So it's very important for you to know what direction your hair grows. Simply running your hands, in front of the mirror around it, you can tell what grows where and where grows what. Usually, if you divide the armpit into two, the upper part grows differently from the lower part. So you have to decode the direction of your hair growth in order to do this. So, for example, if the upper part of your armpit grows, for example, right, nobody has the same hair growth pattern but for example let's say the upper part of your armpit grows um downwards okay the upper part dividing it into half the upper part grows downwards which means you have to shave downwards okay that's just what it means and these good quality razors right they pick everything almost in one swipe you want to limit just look at upper part goes upward Guess what you do? You go upward. Go upward. So. Perfect. Another direction of hair growth which you can easily miss. Always feel free to reapply um, your shaving aid when you need to. Okay. So there are some hairs that are very stubborn. They are located at the edge here, at the edge there. Shave inwards this way to pick them up. The edge, the hair located at the edges. Do you get it? If you do this, <laughs> uh, if you suffer shaving bumps, you are not going to suffer them anymore. We are going to do a second exfoliation. This time, you want to be very gentle. You can use but your regular body scrub. So, as always, go up and down motions, up and down motions alone. Don't go circle and don't be too harsh. Just go up and down motions. So there are some tiny hairs that are buried under the skin you may not be seeing, right? Those are the ones that they will start growing back really quickly in like three, four days. And that's because they are buried by skin but you cannot see. By doing this two-step exfoliation method, the, 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 the scrub is going to liberate them from the skin. Don't go circle, go up and down. It's going to liberate them from the skin. It's also going to help you with dark armpits and hyperpigmentation, okay? My shaving process, okay? Downwards, all right? It picked one tiny hair. I don't know if you can see it and I can't flip my camera around. So let's go upwards i'm not going to rinse anything here because there are not a lot of hairs as you can see wow see it picked one or two 
Then you go this way. They look like one or two, but trust me, those are the little tiny things that go back and give you one or two painful, uncomfortable bumps. They are the ones. Okay? I don't know if you can see. It's just tiny little strands, which was looking clean and all perfect. Nice of cold water. After shaving, ooh, it, it feels like I wax, guys, and it's not waxing, it's shaving. It's shaving, just doing things the right way. After shaving this way, the next thing you want to do is to apply an aftercare. Always apply an aftercare to the area, it's very important. When you are doing any form of hair removal, whether waxing or anything, what most people will skip, and you should be a smart lady, don't skip it, is aftercare. Prevention, a preventive method. That's what it does, okay? Don't be that babe that just like, over here, at hear me? If you follow me, you are not regular. Don't be like any regular babe, okay? Do a preventive measure. A good preventive measure should have things like um, if you are looking organically, aloe vera is a very, very good. You guys always like DIY and home alternative. Well, aloe vera is very, very beautiful and perfect. It does a lot of things. It helps skin heal fast. It helps um, prevent bumps. It's because of its antisep and it has antiseptic, antibacterial properties. So many are going to display them on the screen. But if you want to buy a stock bought product, a very, very good aftercare product should have salicylic acid. Always look for something that says salicylic acid or tea tree essential oil. And just in case you're in Nigeria, you're watching this, or you don't even mind, many of you in the state have been ordering my products. I have a shaving set for my brand that has all these things. It has the shaving cream. Um, it, this razor is for my brand. It's my brand's razor. Okay, I have feminine razors. Very, very good. Very, very amazing. It has the aloe vera strip, like I told you. It has the five blade system. It's detachable, and you, because it's mine, and you have free razor. You have free razors, all right? You have free razors. This is our new design. That I, I don't want to unveil it yet. But this is our new design. It's cute. You know? And you know, one beautiful thing about our razors is the way it pivots. Do you see? It pivots to attach to the shape of the body. Thereby, it doesn't give you razor cuts and razor bumps like all those cheap razors that that don't move so you have to do your hand like this if there's a curve of your body it may likely cut you all these cheap razors may likely cut you but good quality razors like this see you don't even have to move your hand they adjust if you are straight if you are bent if you are bent over they just adjust to the curve of the female body that is a good feminine razor I know you guys always find it helpful if you did don't forget to hit like the video, subscribe to the channel below, and share this video to all your babes that shave wrongly. And until next time, bye!